Hello Ratbags, it's Jade, welcome to a little mini guide today. We all like free stuff, yeah? You know, playing your game, getting some armor sets, getting some cool new skins. Well, I'm going to show you how you can get a pigeon for your go. Sinjin yes, character, yeah. or Shin. I call him Take Shin, care. I don't know why. And also get this fantastic armor set, a little bit Roman-like, gold and black, and it's mythological, it's OP. So, a few simple steps, sign into some services, and you'll be able to claim a bunch of new gear. It's definitely worth it. So number one, you're going to have to sign into your Connect on Ubisoft on your console, either the Xbox, or do it online via a website. If you haven't got an Ubisoft account, it's pretty easy to make one. It's simple. I'm not going to take you through that. If you don't know how to do that, then God help you. Make sure you link that account, though, obviously, to your Xbox and your PlayStation profiles. If you've done this in the past for previous Ubisoft games, you probably already have got some credits which you can use against some cosmetic items. Although they're not really cosmetics, they actually give you some uses, like you can get a bow, weapons and stuff like that. I've already got Moonlight, which was fantastic. I highly recommend that. Some of these are dependent on whether or not you've played other games as well, but it's definitely worth checking it out and seeing if any of these rewards you can claim. The Moonlight Axe I actually got for watching one of their Ubi Forward events that they live streamed before the game's release. So yeah, that's how you get that one. It's a pretty OP axe and any of this gear you can pretty much have as soon as you start the game more or less. And it definitely gives you a big boost early on. There are also challenges that you can do and this will give you XP. It will give you daily XP extra when you complete certain things. So it's definitely worth checking this out and making sure you have a little sign in. And then lastly, what you want to do is make sure you've connected your Twitch account. And this is something, obviously, the bigger one, because this is where you're going to get the biggest drop of free content. If your Twitch Prime, Amazon Prime account is linked, you will get a complete brand new mythological armor set. You'll get a brand new spear or pike, and you'll also get a brand new skin for your mount and, of course, that pigeon skin. And just in case you didn't know, your settlement unlocks a new trader and he's apparently a recurring character from Origins and pretty much he'll give you quests or challenges where you can earn opals and opals you can use in his little shop to buy these sort of items that you can get from the paid store. So it's a bit rubbish because you don't get complete sets and it's kind of trying to make you go and visit this place and actually spend real money because you'll get something like a pair of mythological braces but then you won't get the rest of it and then you're feeling like you want the whole set and the only way to get the whole set is to go and visit the Helix site. Now, I said it wasn't really worth doing that because you can only get about five uh, opals a day. But some of you guys have pointed out that when you get to higher level areas, you can start earning more. And also, you do weekly quests where you can get like 20, 25 per mission as well. So you can earn a lot more opals than I first thought. So I guess it's something for nothing again. So if you really want to experience some other stuff, maybe try out some new mythological gear, then it might be worth it. They also do decorations and cosmetics as well. And it does refresh every week or so. Now, you can see my gear lining up literally i just signed in and now it's giving me all that amazon sweet prime loot it looks pretty cool i ain't gonna lie i quite like the look of this it's got a nice black and gold style feel the pike is pretty decent you can see here this kind of damage it does in fact this is perfect for me because i'm always dodging and using my abilities that's like my go-to trademark so yeah i'm definitely doing that a lot the shield is going to increase your melee damage when you're blocking and it's part of the raven set whereas the pike is part of the wolf set which is a bit odd i feel like they should all be the same set but there you go and then the armor when you go low health you're going to get extra armor so there are definitely arm sets that already do that in the game but this obviously comes fully upgraded so that's a great way to get something really early in the game a bit more extra op and then it's secondary perk when you've got all of them equipped is that when you've got high life you'll be able to get maybe speedier attacks so don't miss out on this armor set and just showing you what the pike actually looks like in a little bit more Last thing I will say about the rest of the armor sets, not just the chest, is that you can fit three normal runes in them as well. So I actually ended up using most of my runes for once. I've been having loads of them, I've even been selling them. So you may want to keep it to get mythological armors because you will be able to upgrade and put even more runes in. But maybe even more exciting than all of that is that you get a mount skin, which is okay. It looks a bit like Romanesque. Remember, any stables in any major city, you'll be able to change your skin. So even if you haven't got the upgrade yet for your own stables at your settlement, you can still go ahead and change it. But this is what I was really excited about, having a pigeon as my pet. Yes, I know, this is it. This is a proper England game now. Bloody pigeons are everywhere. So yep, cue some music about stop the pigeon. Or is it catch the pigeon? I don't know, I'm old as crap, I've forgotten. 
And that is it. I hope this has been beneficial. You might have missed out on this if you hadn't just come across it. So do take advantage of it. If you know any other ways to get any free loot by signing up to stuff or maybe you've got some cool codes from something else like an offer in store. They often do that one. Just the FYI as well, you might have seen the Berserker gear. That came as part of a pre-order, I do believe, for either the Season Pass or just pre-ordering game. So if you wonder how people are wearing the bare fur armor, that's how you got that. I will see you at Bags for more proper detail guides very soon.